Have you ever wondered where the first civilization on Earth emerged? Our story begins about six and a half millennia ago, around 4,500 BC in the fertile cradle of ancient Mesopotamia located in present-day Iraq. This land nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers was home to a group of people who would forever change the course of human history, the Sumerians. Emerging from the Neolithic period, the Sumerians stepped into the Bronze Age, leaving behind their nomadic lifestyle. They began to settle, establishing the world's first cities such as Uruk and Ur. Each city was a bustling hub of human activity with magnificent temples piercing the sky, bustling markets echoing with the chatter of trade and labyrinthine streets brimming with the vibrancy of life. The dawn of urbanization had arrived. But the Sumerians were not just city builders. They were also the architects of a revolution in food production. They harnessed the fertile plains of Mesopotamia, developing sophisticated irrigation systems that turned the arid desert into verdant farmland. This agricultural revolution allowed them to grow surplus food, which in turn supported larger populations and fueled the growth of their cities. Yet, the Sumerians' ingenuity didn't stop there. Picture this, a time when the concept of a wheel was as alien as a smartphone would have been to a medieval knight. It was the Sumerians who first invented the wheel, a simple yet revolutionary tool that transformed transportation, warfare, and countless other aspects of daily life. From the establishment of the first cities to the development of agriculture and the invention of the wheel, the Sumerians were pioneers in many ways. They constructed the scaffolding upon which later civilizations would build and their innovations continued to echo through the ages. Thus began the journey of mankind's first civilization, setting the stage for a series of remarkable innovations. Can you imagine a time when cities were a novel idea? Let's transport ourselves back to around 3000 BC, to the fertile plains of Mesopotamia where the concept of urban life was just beginning to take root. Here, in what is now southern Iraq, the Sumerians started to build the world's first city-states. Each of these city-states, such as Uruk, Ur and Lagash, was a self-governing entity, with its own ruler, its own gods and its own distinct culture. These were not merely clusters of dwellings, but complex societies with a structured hierarchy. Uruk, for instance, was one of the most significant city-states of ancient Sumer. It was a bustling hub of commerce, religion, and politics. The city's ziggurat, a massive stepped tower dedicated to the sky god Anu, stood as a testament to the city's religious fervor and architectural prowess. Then there was Ur, another influential city-state, known for its advanced system of administration. The rulers of Ur maintained detailed records of their economic transactions, revealing a complex and well-regulated economy. Lagash, on the other hand, was renowned for its art and literature. The city was the birthplace of some of the earliest forms of narrative art and poetry, providing a glimpse into the aesthetic sensibilities of the Sumerians. These city-states were not just centers of political power, but also the epicenters of religious, economic, and cultural life. The rulers of these city-states were often seen as intermediaries between the people and the gods, and their rule was considered to be divinely ordained. The economy was largely agrarian, but trade with neighboring regions was also an integral part of their economic life. However, the city-states were often at odds with each other, competing for resources and territorial control. This led to frequent conflicts, but also to a constant drive for innovation and improvement. These city-states, each with its own unique identity, formed the backbone of the Sumerian civilization. They were the cradle of civilization, setting the stage for the development of complex societies in the millennia to come. How would you communicate if you couldn't write or read? Imagine a world without letters, without words, this was the reality for people until around 5,000 years ago. But then, in the cradle of civilization, in the city-states of Sumer, a revolution was brewing. 
a revolution that would forever change the way humans communicate, record and understand their world. This was the birth of cuneiform, the world's first known writing system. Now, cuneiform might sound like a fancy term, but it's actually pretty straightforward. It's derived from the Latin word cuneus, which means wedge. Why wedge? Well, that's because the Sumerian scribes, using a reed stylus, would press wedge-shaped marks into clay tablets. These wedge-shaped marks, or symbols, represented words or sounds. When we say cuneiform was a revolution, we mean it. For the first time, humans could record their thoughts, laws, business transactions, even their poetry and literature. It was no longer a world of mere spoken words. Ideas could now travel beyond the spoken range preserved for future generations. And it wasn't just for the elites. Over time, as the system evolved, it became more widespread. Merchants used it for keeping track of trades, scholars for recording knowledge, rulers for making laws. It was a system that transcended social classes and professions. But the Sumerians didn't just stop at developing a writing system. They also established schools called edabas, where young boys and occasionally girls were taught to read and write cuneiform. These schools produced the scribes, the educated class, who played a pivotal role in the Sumerian society. So, the next time you pick up a pen or type out a message on your phone, remember the ancient Sumerians. Remember the city-states along the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, where the first wedge-shaped marks were pressed into clay tablets. The gift of writing, a legacy from the Sumerians, forever changed the course of human history. What if the innovations we take for granted today were born in the ancient Sumer? Let's delve into the key achievements and contributions of the Sumerian civilization, which have left an indelible mark on the course of human history. Firstly, let's talk about the wheel, an invention that quite literally set the world in motion. The Sumerians didn't invent just any wheel, but the first known wheel that was used for transportation. This was not just a leap forward for Sumerian society, but a pivotal moment for human civilization, sparking advancements in travel, trade and technology. But let's not stop there. The Sumerians were also the architects of time, developing one of the earliest known calendars. They used a lunar calendar to keep track of time, marking the phases of the moon to count days and months. This system provided a structured approach to agriculture, enabling them to predict seasonal changes and plan their crops accordingly. A testament to their understanding of the natural world. Now, let's shift gears to mathematics. The Sumerians were pioneers in the field, developing a complex system based on the number 60. This sexagesimal system is still echoed today in how we measure time, angles and geographical coordinates. Their mathematical prowess also extended to geometry, aiding in the construction of their architectural marvels. Lastly, but certainly not least, the Sumerians were trailblazers in the realm of law and governance. They created one of the earliest known legal codes, setting a precedent for structured society and justice. These laws governed everything from trade and business transactions to penalties for crimes, showcasing the Sumerians' commitment to order and fairness. The Sumerians, through their ingenuity and creativity, laid the foundation for many aspects of modern society. Their contributions have stood the test of time, shaping the world we know today. As we continue our journey through ancient Mesopotamia, let's remember the Sumerians not just as an ancient civilization, but as architects of the future. What causes an advanced civilization to fall, and what legacy does it leave behind? This question brings us to the twilight years of the Sumerian civilization, a period marked by upheaval and change. Around the year 2000 BC, the Sumerian civilization began to decline. External invasions played a significant role in this downfall. The Elamites, from what is now present-day Iran, led a series of powerful invasions into Sumerian territory. Concurrently, the Amorites, a Semitic people from the West, began to infiltrate and eventually dominate the region. But it wasn't just external forces that led to the Sumerians' downfall. Internal conflicts, 
political instability and economic decline also contributed to the weakening of this once mighty civilization. City-states warred against each other for control and dominance, draining resources and destabilizing the region. The irrigation systems that had once made their agriculture so prosperous began to fail, leading to food shortages and further societal strain. Yet, even as we recount the fall of the Sumerians, it's important to remember that the end of a civilization doesn't mean the disappearance of its contributions. In fact, the Sumerians left a lasting legacy that continues to influence various aspects of our lives today. Their writing system, cuneiform, was the first written language in human history. It served as a foundation for subsequent scripts and continues to be a focal point of study for historians and linguists. The Sumerians' legal codes, particularly the Code of Urnamu, influenced later legal systems and laid the groundwork for the concept of rule of law. Even their technological innovations, such as the wheel and the plough, have had enduring impacts on human society. So as we reflect on the fall of the Sumerians, let's also remember their rich legacy. Their civilization may have crumbled, but their contributions have stood the test of time, shaping the course of human history. Though the Sumerian civilization may have fallen, its contributions to humanity continue to resonate throughout the ages.